Chinese hot pot is said to be 2,000 years old. It was appreciated by the emperors. It has been democratized, and nowadays, it has become a tourist attraction in parts of China. This hot pot offers a spicy and clear broth at the same time. The guests pick up the prepared ingredients and dip them in the broth. Once cooked, they can be dipped in the sauce. It is a convivial meal to enjoy and share with friends and family. Here are the ingredients for six people. You can find this list and tips on cookingwithmorgan.com. Start by making the broth. In a saucepan, put one beef rib, one tablespoon of salt, five liters of water, four slices of ginger, two onions cut in half, Bring to a boil over high heat with a lid. Scum as soon as the foam appears. Then turn on very low heat, put the lid back and let simmer for three hours. Soak 200 grams of sweet potatoes noodles in cold water while preparing the other ingredients. Now make the spice sauce. Roughly crush two black cardamoms, one small piece of cinnamon, three star anise, half teaspoon of cloves, and one teaspoon of fennel seeds. Then blend them in the chopper. Put them in a bowl. Add the one quarter cup of white wine. Mix and let the flavors infuse. Mince two shallots. Chop one head of garlic. Grate a piece of ginger. Keep a good tablespoon. Tear three bay leaves. Take. One cube of fermented red tofu and one tablespoon of the cheese. Crush to get the paste. Put 15 centiliters of vegetable oil in a pan heated to medium heat. When the oil is hot, add the shallots. Stir from time to time for four minutes. Add the grated ginger and the chopped garlic. Stir from time to time for 4 minutes. Turn on low heat and put 1 tablespoon of chili flakes, 1 tablespoon of Szechuan pepper, 1 tablespoon of green Szechuan pepper, 1 teaspoon of fernato seeds for a beautiful natural red color, 1 tablespoon of salted black beans, the bay leaves, and 20 grams of rock sugar. Stir for 1 minute. Turn on medium heat and put the spices infused in white wine, 1 tablespoon of chili puree, and the fermented red tofu. Stir for 1 minute. Add one teaspoon of salt, mix and turn off the heat. Put the spice sauce in a bowl. To prepare the vegetables, cut in two chunks. 300 grams of choy sum, 300 grams of bok choy, two 
200 grams of mushrooms, 250 grams of tofu, 400 grams of beef, cut into thin slices, 400 grams of beef. Place them on the large plate. Do the same with one chicken breast, Two hundred grams of fish fillet to cut into thicker slices. They'll shrink when cooked. Two hundred and fifty grams of shrimp. Cut them along the back. Remove the intestine on vein. To make ten mini omelettes. Cut 150 grams of chicken breast into small pieces. Peel one clove of garlic. Chop it with the chicken. Mince one half of the spring onion. Put the chicken in the bowl. Then add the spring onion, a good pinch of salt, some ground paper, one teaspoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of glyce soy sauce, and one teaspoon of vegetable oil. Mix. The stuffing is ready. In another bowl to make the batter, dilute one tablespoon of cornstarch, with one tablespoon of water. Add three eggs, a pinch of salt, one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Beat all together. In the small non-stick skillet, heat it over medium heat. Add a little oil, only for the first omelette when it's hot, put a small ladle of butter. Leave for 10 seconds. Put a good teaspoon of stuffing. Fold in half. Close it well. Flip it over and leave it for 10 seconds. Take it out and continue like this. Drain the sweet potato noodles. Now make the dipping sauce. In a bowl, put 4 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of white rice vinegar, half teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of the spice sauce. A little bit of spring onion. Mix, it's ready. Put one egg on the pieces of chicken breast. Set the table. Put all the preparations on it. Serve the dipping sauce for each guest. Put the spice sauce in a large tea bag.
close it well. Remove the fat on the surface of the bluff. Pour it on the both side of the pot and heat it. Take three dry red dates and tie two spring onions. Put them in the clear broth. Put the lid on, bring to a boil. The guests can take their seats. Spread the egg over the chicken pieces. It keeps them from the hardening during cooking. When the broth begins to boil, you can add the vegetables. The noodles, the tofu. The guests like to alternate between the spicy broth and the clear broth. Leave the pot at a low boil throughout the meal. Using chopsticks or strainer scoop, everyone dips the pieces of meat and seafood and enjoy them with the dipping sauce. Over time, the broth will take more flavors. The dish is rich, colorful, and cheerful. It brings people together and makes them feel good. They can cook the ingredients in the spicy broth or in the clear broth. The spicy broth is intense and delicious. It has the scents of Szechuan pepper, chili, smoked black cardamom. Thank you for watching and sharing my video. See you at the next homemade dish.